Good morning to you on this Friday morning. Today we continue our consideration of Proverbs chapter 19. We're going to look at verses 11 through 15. A man's discretion makes him slow to anger, and it is his glory to overlook a transgression. The king's wrath is like the roaring of a lion, but his favour is like dew on the grass. A foolish son is destruction to his father, and the contentions of a wife are a constant dripping. House and wealth are an inheritance from fathers, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. Laziness casts into a deep sleep, and an idle man will suffer hunger. Again, here's a number of things for us to consider this morning. A man's discretion makes him slow to anger, and it is his glory to overlook a transgression. A wise person is slow to anger. A wise person realises there's no point in getting angry, we just make things worse. Wherever we can, we try to keep peace with all people, and it is his glory to overlook a transgression. We should forgive as we have been forgiven. Jesus came into this world and he died on Calvary, shed his blood, that our sins would be forgiven. We pray in the Lord's Prayer, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. We need to forgive as we have been forgiven. Not always easy, but with the help of the Holy Spirit, we can do it. And then I love this contrast. The king's wrath is like the roaring of a lion, but his favour like the dew on the grass. You want to be on his good side. It's like dew on the grass. It's refreshing and nice. Not like the roaring of a lion, which just brings destruction and trouble. A foolish son is a destruction to his father. I could think of few things worse than having foolish children. That's why the Bible tells us to raise our children, instruct them in the Lord in the way they should go. When they're old, they won't depart from it. And the contentions of a wife are a constant dripping. You know that sound, drip, 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 it gets on your nerves. It's got to be horrible when there's discord and disharmony in a family. House and wealth and inheritance from fathers but a prudent wife is from the Lord. That's why I always say we should seek God's guidance. If we are seeking a partner in life, who has he got for us? A prudent wife is from the Lord, and the reverse is also true. And then a reminder again about laziness. Laziness casts into a deep sleep, and an idle man will suffer hunger. We are created to work. God blesses the work of our hands if it's honest work. And it's satisfying to work and earn your daily bread wherever possible. Let's now join together in prayer. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we begin this new day again with you. We begin it with an attitude of gratitude as we thank you for a brand new day. As we thank you for your mercies, which are new every morning. As we thank you, Lord, that you have given us your word as guidelines, a guidepost that you show us and teach us your way. Our desire is to be wise. Our desire is to be that person that is slow to anger, that person that is quick to forgive, that person that reflects your love wherever we go. We realize we cannot do it on our own accord. We realize that we are weak and helpless, but we thank you that we have the Holy Spirit abiding in our hearts. So, Spirit of the living God, we pray, love through us, live through us. We choose to walk in the Spirit today. We choose, Lord, to reflect your love wherever we go. We thank you that you have so loved us. Thank you, Jesus, that you died on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins. Thank you that in you we have new life. I pray for everyone that's listening, Lord, that you would just lay your hand upon them and bless them. Provide whatever need they may have today. We pray for someone that doesn't know you yet, Lord, who has the greatest need, the need for forgiveness. Have mercy on them. We pray for our government. We pray for all who are in authority. 
We pray, Lord, that you would give them wisdom and lead them and guide them and help them make wise decisions, good decisions, just decisions. We pray for those who are suffering under tyrannies. Lord, have mercy. We pray, Lord, that you would be with the sick and the dying and all who are in need. We pray, Lord, that you would lay your healing hand upon them, comfort those who mourn, strengthen the weak. Father, we thank you so much for your love. We thank you for your amazing grace. And we pray now that you would hear us as we join together in praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow.